Our story starts here, 16 South and 64 West, with a wee husk named Jim who'd awakened his rest. Looking spiffy as ever, through the earth he'd bombard, mightily declaring, I'm no wimpy Swiss chard. Just then, out of nowhere, plunged down a leviathan hand, plucking Jim to the sky, till he saw the whole land. And then, with no fuss at all, it whisked Jim right away to a room full of equipment operating like the finest ballet. With a brat, swoosh, and a whiz, the tools orchestrated. Every single which way our hero rotated. All of a sudden, he came to a fork in the ride, where from those he'd protected, he was tossed fully aside. But as if struck by lightning, his destiny, he knew, was to pilot these husks and bid this barrel adieu. As they hurtled round and round, a scientist passed by and was struck by these husks, so abnormally spry. And so off to the spotlight, test after test for our dear sir, each one proof he's the key to a magic elixir. With great hopes, he was ushered to the proudest of vessel which found its way home with one Sarah B. Cecil. Sarah's rosy cheeks, you see, Jim's ultimate trial, for they needed appeal to help restore her smile. Off to work on her visage, his own personal Van Gogh, by the time she awoke, every ounce of her beauty did show. Oh, and if you're wondering about Jim, you needn't concern for the best, for he's spreading the word right back at 16 South and 64 West. <laughs>